Hello everyone and welcome back to The Reaction, a video sponsored by The Morning Watch at Michigan State University. I'm Chrissy Clark, Editor-in-Chief of The Morning Watch, and um, obviously you probably realize that this is not my regular studio. I mean, not that it's ever my studio, it's my bedroom actually, um, but I'm actually in Phoenix, Arizona right now um, at Turning Point USA's headquarters, which has been super fun, and so I you know, traveled all the way across the country, but I still really want to talk about a local Michigan issue this week or react to it. So that's what I'm going to do. And usually I have my nice little setup with my microphone and I keep my phone up here so I can read quotes. So I'm not texting people. I just need to read things from here. So that's what I'm doing. But um, today I want to react to what a professor at Michigan State University assigned reading to, um, to their students for a sociology class. The reading was called Understanding the Patriarchy, and the very first sentence had me, like my jaw just dropped, and it said, Patriarchy is the single most life-threatening social disease assaulting the male body and spirit of our nation. When I was trying to analyze how I was going to read this or how I was going to rant about it or talk about it to you guys, I just didn't even know what to say, and I was like, oh crap, I'm going to break my New Year's resolution not to swear at this point. I'm pretty sure I've broken it anyway, but it doesn't matter. But then I saw a different quote that struck me as way more important and also fit timely with coming to Turning Point USA's headquarters. So the quote was, um, I often use the phrase imperialist, white supremacist, capitalist patriarchy to describe the interlocking political systems that are the foundation of our nation's politics. My eyes got so wide and I was just like, how? Like, how is this happening? How is this something that is assigned reading in a classroom? Um, especially around, a, like, a bunch of students that are, you know, pretty vulnerable, I would say. Um, you're in college to learn not to be indoctrinated. Um, but nonetheless, I'm actually going to turn it over. Like I promised, I have a special guest. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Lauren Tonich, who is the events coordinator at Turning Point USA, and she's going to talk to you guys a little bit about you know, what she thinks about this and react to the story. So I will hand it over to Lauren and I'll see you guys after. Can you tell me about, you know, when you heard that quote that imperialist, capitalism, white supremacy, and patriarchy are all in the same sentence, what does that make you think? I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, capitalism is more of a business model and a way that a country can, you know, be successful and thrive. And that really should have nothing to do with, you know, patriarchy or white supremacy or anything for that matter, you know, it has nothing to do with your race. It has more to do with economical standing of a country and it's been proven that, you know, capitalism works. Unlike socialism that's, you know, makes countries like people of Venezuela and, you know, my family grew up in communist countries and they constantly tell me how lucky we are to be living in America now when we have these new opportunities that again have nothing to do with the color of your skin. You know, you can be a successful capitalist and be black or Hispanic or white. It doesn't matter what color skin you have. It matters, you know, the type of person that you are and the economic standing that capitalism can help bring. Absolutely. Um, so along with that, what do you think about professors assigning this reading to students that are, you know, pretty vulnerable in the mind? Um, what do you think about that? Is it, is it fair that they get to hear this side about how the patriarchy is bad and how capitalism is bad, or should we be teaching our students that what's successful is successful? We need to be teaching our students what's successful and what works is what works, and teaching all sides of something. It's absolutely ridiculous that all these universities now are becoming these liberal institutions that are really focusing on um, these communist and socialism agendas. I think, you know, anyone has attended a college campus in the last – 5, 10, 15, 20 years can, you know, see that firsthand. I know I have in the various schools. I've actually been to four different schools at this point, and you see that across the board, and I've had some teachers that are very um, respectful and do teach both sides, and that's great. You can have that open discussion, but then there's also these teachers, like, in this example that are saying that it's just one way, and you have no opportunity to actually learn anything different, and that's why, you know, so many people are becoming so one-sided and can't defend their arguments because they're learning that this is the only way, and it really needs to be more of an unbiased, um, showing both sides, and, you know, fine, you can explain capitalism and you can explain communism, but both fairly, and let people come to their own decision, but explain equally why one should or shouldn't work, not just the one-sided bias. Absolutely. And if for all of our viewers out there that would want to learn a little bit more about this, obviously they can head over to the Turning Point page, but um, you know,
know, you're ahead of events here at Turning Point, so could you tell all the viewers what the next event is or where they should be signing up? So you can visit tpusa.com slash events. Um, all of our events will be going live in the next few weeks. We're finalizing this year's schedule, but, you know, Turning Point's events as well as other amazing um, organizations that we have out there give you the opportunity to actually hear from a wide variety of speakers. I know something that we pride ourselves on here at Turning Point is getting a wide variety. So we have ones that are more in the central, we have some, you know, hardcore conservatives, we have libertarians, and we never tell our speakers what to say. We leave it open. So it's a great learning opportunity. Um, it's amazing to read all the apps that say I attended YWS or SAS or whatever event it may have been, and it really opened up my eyes and taught me stuff that I wasn't learning in the school system and showed me that there are other ways of thinking out there besides what's being taught on a college campus. Absolutely. Thanks so much for coming and talking to us, Lauren. Thanks for having me. I hope that you guys enjoyed hearing Lauren. Um, and having a different voice on the show is always just a little bit better. As always, if you have comments, please feel free to send them my way. I have you know, Facebook, Instagram, email, however you guys want to get in touch with me. Um, if you like the content that you're seeing, please subscribe to The Morning Watch um, for more videos and, of course, amazing articles because we are really pushing out new content, and it's killer if you read from some of our um, contributors. It's awesome. And then also, if you want more updates, follow us on Twitter at watch underscore morning and follow myself at Chrissy Clark underscore. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching this week. And from Phoenix, Arizona, I'm Chrissy Clark.